triangles are flat shapes with three sides. They are also, also called polygons with three sides, or three-sided polygons. They are created by connecting three points that are not found along the same line. Each of the points are labeled using letters. So let's take a look at an example of creating one triangle. And we are going to use the points A, B, and C. And you can see that these points A, B, and C are not all three found along the same line. They are three points not along the same line, and so we can connect them and create a triangle. So I can connect point A to point B, point B to point C, point A to point C, and I now have a triangle. Each of the points are labeled using letters, in this case A, B, C. Sometimes you'll see triangles with different letters for their points, like C, E, and F, or triangle M, N, O. You can use any letters to label your triangle. Labeling allows you to name a triangle. So now this triangle has the name triangle ABC. And when talking about this triangle, we would call it triangle ABC. We could write it as triangle ABC. Or we can have a little shortcut to writing it with a little triangle right before the ABC. So instead of writing out the word triangle, we would use this small symbol of a little triangle, the same size as our letters, and then we would put triangle ABC right here after that. This little character in front always tells us that we're talking about a triangle. We could also call this triangle triangle BCA. It doesn't matter what order we put our letters in. We could also call it triangle CAB. In all of these cases, we're talking about referring to this same original triangle here, triangle ABC. Now, depending on the length of each side of a triangle, there can be three types of triangles. The first is the equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides are the same length. So this is an example of an equilateral triangle with sides two units, two units, two units. All three sides are the same length to make an equilateral triangle. Now an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same length, and the third side is not the same length. So here's just one example of an isosceles triangle, where these two sides are both four units in length, but the third side is only two units in length, and that makes this an isosceles triangle with two sides the same length. And then our third type of triangle, depending on the length of the sides, is the scalene triangle. And in a scalene triangle, none of the sides are of equal length. So here's an example of a little triangle that has a one unit side here, a two unit side here, and a three unit side here. And it's a scalene triangle when none of the sides are the same length. It is important that you are able to look at a triangle and recognize the type of triangle in these three cases based on the length of the three sides.